Social media is affecting your mental health. Here are three reasons why you should take a break from social media. Like and follow for more if you enjoy learning about mental health, wellness, and resources to help you. So we all know social media platforms. We all mostly have social media. And at some point, we get on there and here comes reason number one. You start feeling like you're not doing enough or that you're not successful. So everybody lives life at a pace of their own. Okay, so when you get on social media and you start comparing yourself to the lives of other people, um, money wise, income wise, what they're doing, what you're not doing, that hurts. And typically when people start comparing themselves, that's leading to things like anxiety, depression, stress. So remember, people do things at their own pace and you're not in the race with anybody. Number two, you compare your lifestyle, yourself, dating life, money, body, houses, cars, etc. to others. So we all know we get on social media and some of us are overweight, some of us are underweight, some of us have body enhancements and so much more. You get on, you see the perfect relationship and you've been struggling in your dating life. You've been having a hard time dating, you've been broke and people get on flashing money, you know, we start to compare ourselves and like, man, I wish I had their life or man, why can't things just go right in my life? So that's impacting how you feel about yourself, your image, um, and can again lead to things like depression, stress, anxiety, because we feel like we're not up to par. We may feel like, hey, my body doesn't look good. I need to maybe do this or I maybe need to do that or You know, maybe I need to not eat, you know, may have eating disorders now. So it's a lot. And especially with shaming, too, because some people now they can't afford rent on their own and they're moving back in with their parents. And some people are making fun of them saying, oh, you live with your parents. And it's just a feeling that a lot of people do not like you know it's a feeling of shame we're feeling embarrassed we're feeling hurt like hey life didn't go as planned I can't afford life I can't afford anything I barely have enough money to put gas in the car I barely have enough money to put food on the table and here someone is on here posting and bragging about their life living in Mexico or they just got off vacation so you know don't compare yourself you just got to get a game plan together to Figure out how you can live your best life within the situation that you're in or financial situation that you're in or whatever your case may be. And then third, you get triggered by things on social media, some type of abuse, traumatic incidents, chaos in the world. So I personally have to take a break from social media sometimes. One reason is every time I get on and I see some type of uh, school shooting, I just log off. Because it's just so hurtful to see, Um, especially, you know, I work with young children. I work in schools. So when I get on and I see senseless shootings and I see senseless um, things just continuously going on in the world, it just saddens me. And I'm like, you know what? I need to take a break because that can be Monday. And by the end of the week, something else traumatic has happened. So if you are like me, sometimes you just need to take a break from everything that's going on. You get on, you see people talking about their traumatic incidents, and you may have had that same or a similar incident, and now that triggers you. Now you don't want to be bothered. Now you feeling are feeling anxious. Now you are feeling sad and may have some harmful thoughts. So these are just a quick overview of reasons why you should take a break. Now, if you are, you know, someone with anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, eating disorder. If you are having any type of mental health issues, please know that I have some resources available for you. You can go to my link tree slash why relevant.